Hey everyone, welcome back to Mods and Projects. Many vehicles since the late 90s have come equipped with GM's adaptive suspension systems. These include systems like real-time dampening and MagnaRide. These systems are often controlled by an adjuster knob on the console or the dash that says comfort or sport mode. Many Buicks, GMCs, Cadillacs, Chevys, and others have offered this as an option or it came stock depending on the model of the car. These magnetic shocks are prone to failure for many different reasons. The rubber gaskets can wear out, they may start leaking fluid, you may have seen error messages on your dashboard, you might have check engine diagnostic trouble codes, and it might even limit your speed on some vehicles. If this is the case, you may have considered replacing them and have seen how expensive it can get. Many people will replace their active suspension with passive suspension or coilovers due to the high cost of replacing the original magnetic shocks. One problem with replacing non-magnetic shocks on a vehicle that needs magnetic shocks is that you're guaranteed to see error messages or diagnostic trouble codes on your dashboard. This is because there is an electrical connection that goes from your original magnetic shock into your car's computer, and passive shocks or coilovers don't have this connection. With those clips now removed, those circuits in your car are now open, and your car's computer doesn't like that. The computer doesn't know if your shocks are okay, if they're not okay, if they're even there or not, so it will start throwing error messages. The easiest way to get by this problem is to install magnetic shock bypass units. These bypass the original connection and complete the circuit from the computer to the shock, telling the computer it doesn't have to worry about that circuit anymore. There are several options out there, however these particular units are 100% plug and play because they have the original GM factory clip installed on them. In most cases, there's no need for soldering or crimping, so it makes the installation super easy. You can get a set of four of these on Amazon pretty cheap. The connector is generally the same, but depending on the year of your GM vehicle, it's super important that you choose the correct bypass. These units use the same GM OEM clip into the magnetic shock, and they're a much more affordable option than others out there online. Before installing these units, make sure to check your clip connector from the shock into the chassis of the car. If your clip is different from the one shown here, for a few extra bucks, you'll need to purchase and install the universal adapter with bare wire endings on Amazon. Note that for the universal adapter, there's no positive or negative polarity. It can be installed in either direction. Let's use my 1998 Corvette Coupe for this installation demonstration. Jack up your car, pull off the wheel, and set it aside. Notice I have the aftermarket passive Bilstein shocks already installed on my car. The original mag shocks have a wire coming off. It's this male part of the clip right here that we will use to insert our MagShock bypass unit on. Remember, if on your GM vehicle the connector is not a perfect match, you'll need to grab a set of universal adapters so you can cut off the connectors and splice them together with a wire cramp. Next, simply clip them into place. Make sure you secure your units in the correct orientation with the bump under the factory clip. The bypass unit should seat securely. Don't force it. You may need to jiggle it around a bit in order for it to sit properly. Your bypass unit will now be hanging and it needs to be secured to the chassis. A good location for this is the factory wiring harness. The best location will vary based on your vehicle. Just find somewhere secure to zip the bypass in place. Next, we will grab our bypass and secure it to the wiring harness on the rectangular end. In my case, this is the most secure place to fasten the unit to the chassis. Make sure you avoid any places that get excessively hot. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment on this video with any questions or concerns and we'll do our best to address them. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.